can Satan read our minds or uh, know our thoughts? Have you ever asked yourself this question? You see, first, it is important for us to remember that Satan is not omnipresent. Okay? Only God is omnipresent. Meaning, he cannot be in more than one place at one time. Only God is everywhere and only God knows everything. While Satan, uh, he must rely on uh, his army of demons to do his bidding. Now, can Satan or his demons read our minds? That's, that's, that's uh, one thing that people ask. And, if, and how do they do all these crafty things? And they lie to us and all those kind of things. How, how, how do they do it? Can they read our minds? You see, the Bible says in the book of First Kings 8, uh, 39, it says, Then hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and forgive and do. And give to every man according to his ways, whose heart thou knowest. You see, it's talking about God knowing the hearts of people. For thou... Even thou only, you see, it is only God, knowest the hearts of all children of men. So who knows the hearts of everyone? Is, is God. Okay? So Satan cannot read your mind, cannot read your heart. He doesn't understand. But how does he play his game then? Because there is no one else who has that ability except God. How does Satan do this? You see, God knows, God understands and he knows what we will say, even before we say it. While this thought is still formulating in your mind, God already knows about it. And let me show you this in uh, Psalms, Psalms 139, <clears throat> uh, verse 4. It says that even while you're still formulating the thought, before you even think, God already knows. For there is not a word in my tongue. But, oh, Lord, knoweth it all together. There is nothing, even what I'm going to speak, what I'm going to think, everything, you already know. You understand. Lord understands that. And, uh, of course, Jesus being God incarnate, he has also exhibited the same divine quality of knowing men's thoughts. Jesus knew what was in each person's mind, even before they told him. Remember in the book of John, John 2, uh, 25, he knows even what is in your heart, in your mind. And needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. So Jesus being God, he also knew what was in man's uh, uh, thoughts, even before they spoke. And also, in uh, let me show you two more verses. Matthew, Matthew 9, 4. It also speaks that he knew. He knew. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore, think ye evil in your hearts. So Jesus knew their thoughts. Okay? Jesus can read because he's God. And also John, John 6, uh, 64. It tells us the same thing also. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. So Jesus knew. Why? Because Jesus is God. He's all-knowing. Okay? All-knowing. Omniscient. Now, the Bible does teach us that Satan is also powerful. Okay? Satan has some power. That is taught in the Bible. Okay? He has some power. And likely, he was the highest of all the fallen angels as he was persuasive enough to convince one third, imagine one third of the angels to join him in his rebellion. So it means he's powerful in some way. Remember what the Bible says here in uh, Revelation 12, um, Revelation 12 verse 4. See, it says, and his tail drew the third part of the stars in heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, 
for to devour her child as soon as it was born. So this third part of the stars is basically the angels. So Satan has some power. He has power to perform signs. Read Exodus 7, 10 to 12 uh, and uh, 2 Thessalonians 2, 9. He has also power to control weather. Satan has that power. Job 1, 16 and uh, uh, Job uh, and 18 to 19 also. Satan has power to cause war and death. Job 1, 14 to 15. He has power to cause illnesses and, uh, and uh, to possess people. Job 2, 7, 8, Matthew 8, 28 to 34, and also Matthew 9, 32 to 33, and uh, Mark 5, 15, Luke 4, 35, and, and so forth. He also has uh, power to perform wonders. Exodus 7, 10 to 12, 2 Thessalonians 2, 9. Now, you understand, even when the Antichrist will come, he will perform wonders and miracles and deceive people. He will even be calling fire from heaven. You know, Satan has some power, okay? But uh, you have to understand something that, uh, you have to understand this, that even after Satan's fall, not even Michael the angel dared to confront him without the Lord's help. You see, there are people who say, oh, Satan, you're defeated, and that's it. It's okay, yes, he's defeated, but remember also he has some power. That's why you need to be in Christ 24-7. You, you, you cannot live like the devil and keep on uh, uh, shouting that Satan is defeated. <laughs> You'll be like those people who are casting out demons uh, in the time of Paul. And they are casting out demons in the, in the name of Jesus who Paul preaches. And you know what the demons did? They held those people and they beat them and uh, tore their clothes. And all those people, they were chased like, uh, I don't know what I can explain, with no clothes running out because the demons just ask them okay jesus we know paul we know but who are you <laughs> you see you cannot uh, be claiming the name of christ and you don't live like uh, you know <laughs> like you're you're of christ so you cannot chase out demons with the carnal way that's why the bible tells us that we wrestle not flesh and blood but against principalities that's why we need to pray and be in christ all the time so you have to understand that even Satan's fall, not even the, the archangel himself, Michael, dared confront the devil without the Lord's help. See what the Bible says in Jude, Jude 1, 9. Jude 1, verses 9. See this. It says, Yet Michael the angel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses. Does not bring... Uh, against him, a railing accusation, but say, the Lord rebuke thee. You see, the Michael the archangel, when he was fighting to get the body of Moses, he was, you know, pulling back and forth with the devil. But he had to tell God himself to rebuke the devil because the devil is powerful and you need to stay in God so that you cannot be able to, you know, uh, he cannot trick you out and, uh, you know, do bad things to you. So Satan is the ruler of the kingdom. Satan is the ruler of the kingdom of the air, of the spirit. And uh, is right now, currently, as we talk, <clears throat> is at work in those who are disobedient. Because the Bible tells us in Ephesians 2, 22, uh, uh, 2 verses 2, uh, it tells us uh, in Ephesians 2 verses 2, see, Wherein in time past you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. You see who is the prince of the power of the air? Satan. And the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So Satan is doing some things in the world. Okay. Now it will take omniscience, it will take omniscience for Satan and his demon to read our minds, which they do not have. They don't have that power. Okay. Only God alone, God alone, he can be able to examine our thoughts. It's God alone who can examine our thoughts and our emotions. It just, the, the way it's supposed to be. There's no one else, not even angels, not demons, not anyone. It's only God. Satan wants to have that power. And that's why even right now when you look at uh, in the world, he's trying to, you know, 
putting some things inside people right now as we talk you know what i'm talking about so that he can control them he can be able to be omniscient he can be able to understand what they are thinking to read their minds to read their thoughts, their emotions, to know where they are, and things like that. He wants to be like God. You see? So, God is the only one who can know your thoughts. However, Satan and his demons have been observing and tempting human beings for thousands of years. You have to understand that. They have been tempting human beings for many, many years. Surely, they have learned, they have learned a few things about us over the years. Even without the ability to know our thoughts, they can make a well-educated guess as, as to what we are thinking and then attempt to use that to their advantage. Think about uh, videos online when you're watching uh, from Facebook, from YouTube and things like that. There's always something called suggested video. Now, what is a suggested video? It is basically reading from your choice of what you love, they can suggest the next thing. They usually give like two or three or four choices. They give one choice like this, maybe they give another choice of this thing, and they give another one, which is a probable one. Now, when you click the one which is probable, probably that is the one that they wanted you to move in that angle. If, if you're watching football, and they put some uh, suggested videos of different football uh, 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 matches. And along that, they also put some people celebrating football match. And you click on the one people are celebrating. From celebration, they will bring you into music. And from music suggestion, they'll bring you into maybe some other people, some uh, video vixens and, uh, you know, ladies who are, you know, naked and dancing and things like that. And that's how Satan suggests you. From something which was so good, like watching football, you ask yourself, how did I start watching some naked video vixens who are dancing? How did I do with this? He, he brings suggestions because he's been reading all through what you love and he's been putting suggestions left right and center and it is for you to focus on christ alone that's why the bible says walk in the spirit so that you don't fulfill the desires of the flesh so when you start walking and getting some weird suggestions and following those suggestions then my friend you'll be lost satan will suggest to you things and then you'll be wondering how did he know my mind no he didn't know your mind he only suggested and you and you fell into his traps. This is why we are commanded, the Bible commands us all the time, to submit yourself unto God. Remember that in James? Uh, in James uh, 4, 7, what does the Bible say? The Bible says, submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. You don't even need to start chasing the devil or binding or all those kind of things that you hear people, Satan, I bind you and throw you to hell. Who are you to start throwing Satan to hell? It's not his time. Only God himself will bind him <laughs> after, the, uh, after the battle of Armageddon and cast him to hell. So when you start saying, oh, Satan, I bind you to hell. No, all your work you're supposed to do is to resist him and he will flee. That's, that's it. So stop binding, stop saying, uh, uh, like Kenneth Copeland was saying, Satan fall on your head and do all those kind of, you know, uh, just fake dramas. Come on, resist the devil and he will flee from you. That's what the Bible says. Hmm? We are supposed to resist and he will flee from us. Now, are you resisting the devil? Because he cannot read our minds. There is nothing that he can read our minds. He is... There is nothing that Satan can do to us which can harm us as long as we are in Christ. Are you resisting the devil? And how are you going to resist him if you are not in Christ? How are you going to resist the devil and his power if you are not in Christ? The only way you can resist him is through something we call the gospel. Okay? I always like to put in the gospel here so that everybody who doesn't know the gospel can know it. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And it's all about how that Christ died for our sins. He was buried and rose again, according to the scriptures. When you understand how he died and what happened and why he did that, and you understand it and you confess to God that for sure, God, today I understand that Jesus, you died for my sins, you were buried. 
and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. You understand and you confess it to him, what you have understood, then you are saved, my friends. And you don't need to keep on thinking, will Satan uh, know everything about me? No, he doesn't know. All you need to do is do what? Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Hope this has been a blessing to you. Hope uh, it has encouraged you. You can share the video to others so that they can uh, get to hear the word of God. And also you can give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe also to watch more videos because we post new videos every day to edify the body of Christ. God bless you and have a great, great time.